In this video, I'll show you how to hide products from search in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. If you prefer the written form of this tutorial, I'll also leave a link in the description below. But this is handy, for example, if you are running a membership only store, a private wholesale store or a membership site, and you just want to hide um, products from specific users, then this tutorial will help you do just that. Okay, so with that out of the way, the first step is to head over to WeSuite.com. Go ahead and download the restriction rules plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the restriction restriction rules plugin. The second step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you go plugins, add new. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Navigate to add-ons, go ahead and install and activate the restriction rules plugin. So we just click install now. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and toggle this to on and then we can click manage. If this manage button doesn't show, if you refresh the page, you'll see the restriction rules link in this um, menu item here. So I'll just click manage here. And before we actually configure our rule, let's first have a look on our storefront and see what exactly we'll be doing. So currently I want to hide um, one of these wine products. So we've got wine one and then we've got wine two here. So maybe we'll hide um, this particular product from search. So I'll just search for um, wine here. So we've got wine two and wine one here as well. Okay, so I'm going to hide this particular product. So in our restriction rules plugin, the third step is to just go ahead and navigate down to where it says hide products. Okay, and then here where it says applies to, we get to choose who we want to target this rule to apply to. So again, um, going back to our example, let's say for example, um, we're running a private store. We want to um, hold back certain products to um, paying customers or members. Right, so we'll create a guess rule in this case. So we're going to hide um, wine one to all guest users, but if a user's logged in, then they'll be able to search and access wine um, one. Um, however, in your case, if you just wanted to apply this rule to everyone, you just select everyone here. Yep, so you can specify it for guest users, um, a specific user role, or a specific user as well. Um, so here where it says filter by, we can filter the products by categories. So we can um, hide all products from a particular category from the search um, or via tag or via product. So I'm just going to select product here and then I'm going to search for wine um, one. Okay, and here's wine one. So I'll select this product here. Um, and then here where it says allow direct access. So you can enable this option so let's say, for example, um, you want to hide um, this product from everyone, but maybe you want to um, allow access to specific customers that has the direct URL to that product, then you'd enable this option. So if anyone's got um, the URL for that product, they'll still be able to access it. If you didn't want that feature on, then you just leave it off here, right? And in the event someone accesses that URL, you have the option to redirect them to somewhere else. So I'll just leave it blank for now. And then I'm going to hit save changes. Okay, so on our storefront, when we search for wine, um, nothing will change since we're currently logged in and we created this rule for guest users. So let's try. Let's search for wine one. Okay, so we can see fine. Okay, so we can actually try and search for wine one in private mode. So now let's go ahead and search for wine one. And in this use case, we won't be able to um, find a product, right? Because we created the rule for guest users, which are logged out users. And that's the high product from your search in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in a comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.